Hey everyone's table team. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this kind of cut crease halo type look using the ColourPop Change Seeking Rainbows palette. I had a lot of fun making this look. Not sure about the yellow, but I think it's a nice fun little touch. And let's jump into it, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to be starting off, again, there's the palette if you guys want to see it, um, using the Urban Decay Original um, eyeshadow primer. Nope, that is the shade Eden. That's not the original one. Um, so just applying that to my lids, and then I'm just going to blend it out here. Blend, blend, blend. Um, so yeah, this is just what I typically use to apply my eyes. And then I'm going to go into the shade Woke and start buffing that into my crease slash brow bone. Kind of going all the way up there with it. And yes, my brushes are stained. Don't mind them. Just checking that Woke all the way up. And then I'm going to dip into the shade Wishlist, take that a little bit lower throughout the crease, just kind of deepen up that pinky tone here. You know, kind of get that rainbow effect going. I was going to add yellow and do like a full like sunset moment, but um, the yellow is uh, metallic, so we'll use that later on in the look. Um, next, going in with Keep Cool, lower in the in the lids, the lids, the crease, lower in the crease. You know, just adding that dimension in there. And don't worry if it looks a little bit muddy. You're not going to notice it. And it look very nice and gradual. You just got to work it with it. My brush was possibly just a little bit dirty. But I just built it up. I just took a little bit of pigment at a time. Because I didn't want to go full on purple moment. <laughs> just a little purple. Not full on. So yeah, just taking that through the crease. Kind of building it up. A little circular motions lower in the crease from where I put wish list. Then next we're gonna go in with bring it, pretty much lower even still, and a little bit onto the crease, onto the lids, and that will just create that final look that we're kind of going for here. And then after you get that going, this one I did do full pigment compared to the purple, because I definitely wanted the blue to pop as compared to not popping. Next, I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the only way I like using it. I think this is the O2? No, not O2, what is it? It is Fair O2, it is Fair O2. To my lids, just kind of cut the crease here. And we're just cutting the middle section of it. Not being too like, precise about like blending it and making sure that everything's like seamless because we'll do that with the metallics here when we do that so we're starting with, out with on one and we're gonna place that on the outer portion of or we just kind of cut that little lid space there to kind of make it pop so yeah and I did wet the brush if you guys are wondering so it is a little bit more just more to kind of make it stick a little bit better. Not that I had issues with it. Next, I'm taking Lucid. And then I didn't actually like how it looked. And I kind of assumed I wouldn't like it. So I point out the not playing, which is what I took next to it. So this is the Lucid part, which I use as a base for the not playing. And, like, as I'm applying this, I don't like it. So I'm not, like, being very precise with it. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't like this. So here's where I'm putting on that not playing over top of where I just put Lucid. Lucid's still a gorgeous color. I just didn't like it for this look. I just didn't think it caught the vibe I was trying to go for here. And that happened a few times while I was make doing this look. So there we go. Next, we're going to take the shade So Meta, which is that gold shade here, into the center. This is another one where I was like, this will be a cool look. I don't have like a metallic pink, so I'll use yellow instead. Yeah, this is where I'm not really sure about it. And you'll see this isn't the final tone. I didn't leave it this bright stark yellow compared to all of the more blue tones here. So I took blurred lines over top of that gold bright yellow shade just kind of make it more muted out and kind of match the rest of the look more that are my camera battery died uh had stopped so i to restart that one portion and then we go back it was not playing and then afterwards i don't know if i have on camera i'm doing on one just kind of make sure all the edges are blurred and like seamless between one to the other 
So that is that. And then I'm going to take the ne NYX Epic Ink Liner. I really need to try another liner. Or not, because I really like this one. It's really good. I enjoy it. What am I talking about? I don't need a different liner. I like this one. It doesn't transfer. It can get watery, and the brushes can break, but overall, it's a really good liner, and I quite like it, and it's only like 8 bucks. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, doing my line. Just doing a straight up cat wing here. And I don't know why, I chose the side of my face to show the eye look on, the side that I always struggle with um, eyeliner with. I don't know why, this one side of my eye, I always have issues with. So, this one I don't, the other side I can just do like in one swell swoop. This side, oh my god, painstaking process to get looking good. And I end up doing a little bunch of little strokes, and I screwed up. Yay! So I'm just going to take a little bit of that ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and a kind of blunt brush here just to kind of carve away that mistake and also just take away um kind of get rid of some of that outside edge of the eyeshadow so now you can't really see the mistake and it looks kind of more sharp again so i'm gonna go in with the essence volume stylist curl and hold mascara on my top lashes i oh i put them on my bottom here before i realized i hadn't done the bottom of my lashes so i'm taking the Fernzio Cosmetics Irresistible Lashes. These are the ones I've had for about four months now and I have been wearing. They're about at the last straw <laughs> for wear time. I've worn them about 60 times, not 60, like 40 times and they're kind of just like, um, I'm kind of being done being used. Go use a different pair. <laughs> so I need to get a new individual lash. I do have a separate one that came in the, the vault or the collection set, so I'll probably just end up using that. Then I'm taking some more NYX Epic Ink Liner over top of that lash band, just kind of make it blend in more. And I realized that one of the, the outside edge, I couldn't see it, was up too high. <laughs> but it kind of blends away when you use the, the um, eyeliner. Next, I'm going to take the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade... No shame to the outer third of my eye here. And I tried very hard to stay on camera. I swear I did. And then I went under camera. And I popped back up. <laughs> oh, lovely. Next, I'm taking Piggy Bank to the middle third of my eyes. And lastly, I'm taking Cryberry to the inner third of the waterline here. So there we go. And then I'm going to take Keep Cool on a brush right underneath where I had that maroon type eyeliner. I realized that brush was too big so I went and got a smaller one. Just that way I could get that full pigment going exactly where I wanted it. And this brush is very good at packing it in. It's actually a lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Manifest It which actually has some glitter in it. Which is why I didn't use it for love. But it's got some lovely glitter to the kind of middle-ish section and then I'm going to take some more wish list just kind of pull in the upper the creasy area to the lower lash line and then to complete out the look once I'm done and you're done staring at my forehead oh look at the lovely forehead I'm gonna take some blurred lines into the inner corner of my eye which has a nice gold like glitter reflect to it which I really like and I thought it really pulled in that yellow tone that we had especially I mean we also put, put blurred line up top but you know it just really pulls it all together and then we take a little bit more of that blurred lines and run it underneath my brow bone here and that is the finished look I'll do the same pose as I did the beginning because it's the same clip just repeated oh mascara we need mascara of course same one that I used before on the upper eyelash line it's the same as the lower I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do more, like, tutorials like this, let me know. I had some fun. This is actually all in real time. I didn't speed up any of the footage except for this posing part because I wanted to try something different. So, I hope you guys all like it. Subscribe, join the haul pack. Get to pause up, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!